Hello folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. Uh, last video I made of this machine, two-stage oscillator, uh, I had a plea for help with the mathematics of this thing. And I got a lot of responses, some really great ones. Some of the guys have fantastic formulas and, and so forth, but quite a few left out in their, their formulas or mathematics the genuine physics behind a pendulum. Uh, it doesn't matter what the pendulum weighs. It's, um, well, how do I say it? I mean, it, it could weigh 10 pounds, it could weigh 200 pounds. It takes no more effort to keep it going. None, none whatsoever. However, by letting it go up and down at the top, then you do lose some energy, but nowhere near what you gain at the other end. Now, the last video, I said this, the pendulum was 46 pounds. Well, it's a coffee cup, I mean coffee can, two pounds, two and a half ounce uh, Maxwell House coffee can. It was not full of lead, okay? I now have two. They're both completely full of lead. It weighs 140 pounds. The power bar at the top on the last video was 1.41 to one ratio. We've changed that to a three and a half to one ratio. We now have one foot on this side of the pivot and three and a half feet on this side. Now if you look down here, the weight on the top, the yellow weight, is lead. Now I don't want to pull the wool over anyone's eyes, okay? I, I want to be totally straight with everybody. This is a genuine experiment to see if this thing works. That piece of lead does not weigh 49 pounds. That is the combined weight of the lead, the bar, I mean the rods, and the excess bar over here. If you take the pendulum off, that weighs 49 pounds. Now underneath it, I have two other bars of lead. One weighs 11 pounds, the other weighs 10, giving us a total of 70 pounds. Right now, the two on the bottom are not hooked up to it, okay? Now, the pendulum, from the pivot of the pendulum to the center of the weight, which is the proper weight to measure, is 57 inches. Again, you have three and a half feet on this side, one foot on this side, so it's three and a half. 49 pounds, it would take three and a half times 49 pounds of strength pulling down here. That's why the pendulum can't pick it up, because the pendulum only weighs 140 pounds. The swinging of the pendulum, it gains weight, force. Okay, now I'm going to show you that when I swing the weight just a little bit, the pendulum, just a little bit, it's going to pick up this 49 pounds. Now once I get it picking up really good, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to fasten wire to the one of the 11 pound. So give it a total of 60 pounds. Then I'll come back, push the pendulum, get it a little bit higher so it's momentum. So you can see that the higher the pendulum goes, the more weight it will pick up. That's the whole thing. But yet, each time I will operate it a few strokes so that you'll see that I'm not putting any more energy into it to pick up 50 pounds than I am 60. Once I get it up that height, if I could just stand there all day and just do it, then once I get it going, then I'm going to go over and fasten the other 10 pound weight, making it a total of 70. Of course, it's not going to pick it up. So I'm going to have to come back and push the pendulum a little bit harder to get it up a little bit higher. But once I get it up high enough to pick it up, it's just a matter of maintaining. No, almost no effort at all. Okay, uh, hopefully I've gone over all the things with everybody, the dimensions and so forth. I, don't, I definitely don't want to pull the wool over nobody's eyes. This is not a gimmick of any kind. I'm just wanting to find out how this thing works. Okay, let's, let's go for it. Nowhere near, nowhere near two pounds of force. And then I'm picking up 49 pounds twice for each push.
get that very tight, but it should do it. There you go. There you go. Now watch. No more effort. It is 10 pounds, well, actually in this case 11 pounds more. Okay. Now we have 70 pounds. Once it starts picking it up, you will see, after I get it built up, where it picks it up, I'm putting in no more effort than I was picking up the 49 pounds. You have to build it up. as I was the last time. In order to pick that up one inch, or say an inch and a half over there, this one was moving a full inch because of the ratio. Well now, if you pick up one inch, this is coming down less than a third of an inch. So therefore, I have, I'm not losing any power. That's what I was trying to say earlier when I said that, uh, uh -oh, I'm gonna lose my board. Once the pendulum is swinging, it takes almost no effort. If it does not move here, then the only effort you would have to put into it is the loss of friction of the air and in the bearings. That's it. That's all the power you have to put into a pendulum. No matter what it weighs, it can weigh five pounds, it can weigh five tons, it would not matter. Once it is swinging, once it's going, then you put back into it only what it loses from friction. Well, now I'm putting back into it what it loses from friction and what it loses, in, and it is losing a little as far as you didn't see it. But at 49 pounds, uh, I was putting in less than two pounds of force. Now I'm putting in about three and a half to four, but only for a couple of inches. But again, that's only picking up about an inch, inch and a half. Now I can pick it up higher, but if I do, it just goes up and down. Okay, now watch. There we go. Now I'm picking up an inch and a half, but I'm having to apply a little bit more pressure to it. I'm, I'm putting in about five pounds right now. And I'm picking up about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Well, that was an inch and a half. <laughs> All right, 